Hello everyone, Jessica here and welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another Project Thrift 52 video. It's currently week 40 of the project and today I'm in the Steeple Square Shopping Center which is in Nightdale, North Carolina and I'm going to take you into their Goodwill which is located within the shopping center. I will show you around and like always I will share with you what I purchase at the end of the video. Let me know down in the comments section what your favorite item was in today's thrifting trip. I would love to know. The first thing that I like to do when I go into any thrift store is check out the larger items. If I needed a coffee table, I probably would have picked this one up. I think it would have blended in nicely with my decor. And I thought the price was pretty good as well. So now I'm just gonna walk around and check out all of the home decor items that are on the shelves. I think these are the Butterfly Gold Vintage Corel Plates. I have been collecting the Spring Blossom ones, which are green flowers around the edge. This bowl set was really pretty and I was so tempted to buy all of the pieces that you see here. There was a larger bowl and then there was several smaller bowls that matched. I thought about it for a while, but I did end up leaving them behind for someone else to find. These vintage fish planters are adorable. These are so cute and they have like a pearlescent finish on them. Mm -hmm. 
They are just so adorable. I don't know if I want them, but I'm gonna put them in my cart for now in case I decide that I do. I remember when people were going crazy trying to find these Tickle Me Elmos and spending crazy amounts of money on them, and I literally found four in Goodwill, and they were $4.99 a piece. And then I spotted a very large stuffed Elmo in one of the bins. He was also $4.99, so I guess somebody just got rid of their entire collection of Elmos. I don't know, but it was just kind of funny seeing all of them in one place. Another item that I was really, really tempted to get but I left behind was this really cute little brass pot. It was $1.99 and it looks like it had been part of somebody's antique booth. There was a price tag on it for $20. So now I'm going to share with you all of the items that I purchased today. So the first item that I purchased was the adorable ceramic coffee travel mug. It had a cute Boston Terrier in the center with a beautiful floral pattern around the dog. It was 89 cents and it looked like it had never been used. My daughter Hannah fell in love with it as soon as she saw it and she basically adopted it so it will definitely get a lot of use between the two of us this fall and winter. So over near the gorgeous green bowls that I showed you earlier in the video was also this really pretty green pitcher. I was excited because I actually had been looking for a pitcher. This one was $1.99 and it also looked vintage. You have probably seen this ladder shelf many times before. Most everything you see on here are thrift finds that I have found along the way. Now that I have the green pitcher here, I think it ties everything together very nicely. The shade of green matched perfectly with my vintage Corel dishes, so I just have it here in the middle shelf. And the last two items that I purchased were those adorable vintage fish planters. I just could not leave them behind, they were too precious. I decided to add them to one of my shelves in my upstairs loft. I recently did a tour of this room, so I will link it in the description box in case you want to check it out. For the time being, I just have them on my shelf next to my salt lamp. I had some empty space, so I thought they would look good here. I did clean the fish up a little bit, and I was able to remove the price off of each of them. They were $2.99 a piece, and they were made in Japan by the company Norcrest. What I like about them is that you can either hang them on the wall or you can just have them sitting on the shelf. Later on down the line, I might take my string of banana plants and propagate some inside of each of the planters. But for right now, I just have them on the shelf and I just absolutely love them. 
So that is it guys. That is all I found on today's thrifting trip. I hope this video inspires you to go out and go thrifting. You never know what you're going to find. Once again, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's video and I hope to see you back for week 41.